you are live. I we mean, are live, live. I, oh, I may not be muted over here. I'm not going to talk in. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I got the same issue over here. Yeah, and I can't. Uh, hello, oh, hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm going to do the muting now. Okay, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Dro Nation. We're calling this uh, the breaking news episode. Uh, Captain Ray Kelly is going to join us in a few minutes, and he's got breaking news. The location for the Great Florida Drone Meetup has moved. So uh, Ray will be on, on soon with all the details. I have the map on the screen is the new location. So he's going to tell us all about it in a few minutes uh, when he gets in here. Uh, I, I want Before we get started, I'm going to throw a couple shout-outs out there. I want to shout-out uh, Greg Pittman, who, whose mother's uh, still not doing uh, uh, too well. She had some issues with her weight. So let's send thoughts and prayers out for uh Greg Pittman's uh, uh, mother for uh, a speedy uh, recovery. And uh, congratulations are in order to Johnny Drone Flyer. Uh, his Mavic Air 2 just arrived, uh, to I think, today. So, uh, you know, that's going to be a good day for him. And who knows, maybe he'll bring it to the um, Great Florida Drone Meetup in, in a, another, you know, about two, less than two weeks. And uh, we're going to maybe hope a couple of people are going to pop in on the show tonight that are going to the Great Florida Drone Meetup, but maybe they can tell us their travel plans, their hotel plans, what they plan, to, how long they plan to stay there, if they have other things going on while they're there. So, um, you know, I'm going to throw it over to my uh, my co-host and dear friend, Marcus Crawford, see what he's up to. Mr. Brown, uh, yeah, so I, I actually have been flying a little bit. Uh, to, I just was to, uh, to tell everybody, I was telling Ron right before the show, I'm feeling a little melancholy today. Today was the burial service uh, for my father, and, of course, I couldn't go because of COVID and all that business, but uh, my brother just posted a picture on Facebook of him receiving the flag. He, he had a full military... Uh, burial so you have to feel good about that and a lot of uh, respect uh, to my father for his service but beyond all that stuff uh, I did uh, I got out last week and I flew uh, the uh, SJRC F11 4K Pro now there's a mouthful why do they why can't they name these drones something where, where do they come up with these names yeah who do I they know. pay and pick up these names yeah but but it's there's an important reason that I'm bringing that up, Ron, and that is that it. this is the first under $200 drone that I can really feel good about recommending to people. It's, it's a GPS drone with a two-axis gimbal. It does have 4K video on it, uh, but it actually does a good job of taking good stabilized video now you know in that price range trust me the the video on that thing even though it's 4k it's not going to look like the video on your mavic it just isn't it's kind of uh it's a little bit grainy but but it's stable and it looks decent the colors look okay and everything and the drone flies well too the drone did everything that it was supposed to do uh you know you're not going to get a lot of range on a on a very basic Wi-Fi drone like that, I, you know, the, the it's 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 one of those drones with the controller that has the antennas that don't have any wires in them. So, mm -hmm. so you know, it's just a little in, internal antenna in there. So you're not going to fly it very far. But the thing is, on a drone like that, I don't think you should have an expectation of getting a lot of range out of it. But it, it flew great, and while it was, I'm not going to say it was a powerhouse. It was a pretty quick drone. You could put it in sport mode, and I don't know. I think it got up to, uh, you know, nine nine meters per second or so. So that's over 20 miles an hour. Like I said, for a drone like that, I'm going to say uh, that's pretty good. So I was pretty pleased with that, and I just published a video on it. And like I said, it's finally – I don't know about you, Ron. I get this question from people all the time. They want to buy – that. you know, they're not ready to jump, spend – $500 on a drone. Now with a good conscience, that's a drone that I can, I can recommend to people. Uh, and then I did have a good flight with the, uh, with the mini two. Uh, I guess, see, I guess that was last Thursday. I, I went out over the Boise river and we just had a beautiful blue sky day. 
and uh, yeah, flew it around. Got had a pretty good flight out uh, over the Boise River with it. The very next day, we had a uh, Corvette uh, run. A, a gentleman in our Corvette club that's 92 years old. It was his birthday, so we had a uh, a, a birthday cruise, Corvette cruise, and it was really fun. We all met at this parking lot that was next door to a school, and and it was the literally. The teachers were bringing their kids out of the classroom and out to the edge to see all the cars. It was uh, it was kind of fun. And then uh, the guy's name was Max Becker. Uh, he he can't drive, but one of the other guys drove him, and we did about a, a fifty mile Corvette cruise. And I took the the Mini Two out with me there, and I kind of flew around the group. And obviously, in a situation like that, you're very careful to not fly over the top of any of the cars or any people or anything, but I was kind of around the perimeter uh, flying around and I got a little GoPro footage as well. And I'm going to put that into a video for the uh, Corvette club. So Ron, that's what I've been up to. Uh, no FPV drone at my house. I, I like the thought of it. Uh, but uh, you know, I just not sure that those goggles and all that are for me. So uh, how about you, Ron? Yeah, still waiting on the, uh, you know, uh, uh, still still not, uh, still getting the FPV drone. Maybe I'll wait for uh, version two. Um, and uh, we, if we get to it in the show here later on, it was a firmware update for the Mini, um, you know, last week. And um, and, I, and the Scottio 2 got a firmware update recently, but the Mini 2 is the big one. But we'll, we'll get that later in the show possibly. But with no further ado, we're going to bring in our special guest host tonight, Captain Ray Kelly all the way from sunny, uh, sunny Florida. Welcome in, Ray. Captain Ray. Ray, you got Captain Ray Kelly. Hey, how you doing, Ron? Yeah, yeah. How you doing, Marcus? Oh, everybody in the chat. Welcome in. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How are you today? Oh, I'll tell you, things are pretty good down here in Florida. It wasn't sunny today. It was a little windy, but uh, it was still nice. And uh, I got to go on my boat a little bit. And uh, no drone flying. It was too windy. Too windy. But uh, everything's going good. And uh, Marcus, let me again offer my condolences on, on your dad, please. Yeah, so sorry. thank you. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate that. Hey, Ray, we're going to have you talk about the change in venue here, but I want to bring another special guest in and have him be part of the panel. We're bringing, um, you know, a guy in all the way from the Rocky Mountains out there in uh, Denver, Colorado. And he will, I think he will be at the uh, meetup uh, come uh, uh, the 20th. So with no further ado, all the way from the Rocky Mountains, we have Art Carlson for Arco Drone Solutions. Yes, I hey, will be there How you doing? at the uh, blessed event. Looking forward to it. I like how you said that, the blessed event. <laughs> well, is somebody giving birth? Well, if they, do, if they do, Art's in charge of delivering the, uh, yeah. the, uh, the newborn. Uh, well, only at four foot six. I'm it's amazing. I got, the, I got the list yeah. right here, guys. Right here. It's not computerized yet. <laughs> but it's on the second page. We're up to 35 people. Ooh, so we, we should have a good time. And unfortunately, we had to change the location uh, because there's a big shrimp festival taking place that weekend right at the park we were going to fly in. And it's, uh, it's called the, uh, like me? the Shrimp Fest here. Hullabaloo. It's a, it's a three-day event, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There'll be thousands of people there, and we just couldn't fly there. Mm. Hey, Ron. How you hey, doing? Yeah. Well, welcome in, Ron Lockwood. Uh, uh, Ron's coming to us from uh, South Dakota, and uh, he's going to be there for, what, about another week or so, and then he's going to be heading down to the Sunshine State. Mm -hmm. well, now, uh, Ray, uh, 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 the problem with that new venue is Ron Lockwood and I may not get may not get beyond the um, the shrimp and beer festival. We may do our flying at the old location. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I know there's no doubt it's going to be a good time, and uh, 
the new location, I, I guarantee everybody's going to love it. It's, it's like a little island. Uh, I don't know if you have the other picture yet, Ron, but um, the satellite view is amazing because it's a little island. There's a beach. There's three gazebos there. And again, it's all over the intercoastal waterway, which is called the Indian River there in, in Sebastian. Okay. And uh, it's going to be our, our, like our own little private island. Oh, okay. Now, the most important question is, will, will Art be allowed to cast his reel out in the water there? Well, that's the other thing. When I was down there on Saturday giving it a, another checkout, I w there was a gentleman and his, his wife was there, and they were under one of the gazebos, and they were fishing. So I asked them, what, what kind of fish do you catch? He said, snook. And sure enough, in the five minutes I was there, he caught one. He caught a snook. So, Art, right, definitely bring your fishing rod. Yep. Will do. Mm-hmm. Looking now, Art, Art, of course, you're flying in, right? Because you're too far to drive or anything. Yeah. <clears throat> Where do you fly into, Art? I will be flying into Orlando and rent a car. I'm going to spend a couple days in uh, Melbourne, uh, visit a friend of ours, uh, Mitch from uh, Old Guy and the Drone. I'll do a little fishing there and some drone flying with Mitch and then I'll come down on the 19th and uh, probably do some fishing uh, before the, the the blessed event. <laughs> now wh wh where will you be staying in in the Sebastian area Art? I will be staying at the Penwood Motor Lodge which is on Highway 1 just north of where the the event is going to be good good well I tell you, you know you know ron the word got back to me that you're staying at a very exclusive place called captain hiram's and i'll tell you right now i know that place you're gonna love it and i believe that's not far from where arts i i think i saw arts location when i was checking the map so i think i'll be located pretty close to art yeah yeah i think you are very close to them. So. But uh, a lot of the guys are staying up at the, the Holiday Inn Express in Palm Bay. And Johnny, uh, drone flyer, was kind enough to say, Ray, why don't you, you join me that night so you don't have to drive to two hours back and then two hours back in the morning. So I took him up on that, and I'll be staying up at the Holiday Inn Express, too. Cool. Uh, Ron Lockwood, what are your travel plans? You're obviously flying in too, it's too far to drive from uh, South Dakota. I'm coming in Thursday and get there Thursday evening. Friday, just gonna, Jim and I are gonna hang out, kind of get the lay of the land. We'll go to the blessed event, or you and I will go eat shrimp and drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sunday and Monday is a motorcycle ride. Uh, I rented a well, motorcycle. Let's stop you right there. A lot of people don't know. You you, you plan on what running a Harley while you're down there? It actually is a, a victory. I um, found a pretty neat organization. Um, it's called Twisted Road. And what it is, an organization that um, hooks up with private owners of motorcycles. And you actually rent someone's personal vehicle or personal motorcycle. It's about half the price of other rental places. Um, all very legitimate. There's insurance involved and everything. And um, yeah, renting a motorcycle that I've actually never ridden before, but my whole purpose was the bike I wanted, I wanted to have similar, um, like I have a big storage um, box on the back of my Harley and that's where all my camera and drone equipment go. And this bike has that, so. Um, Great. That was a prerequisite. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, plan on doing lots of filming and drone flying. That's for sure. Uh, so you, so you're flying to, you're tour flying tour to pack, Orlando, right? also. Yes. Yep. I'll fly yeah. into Orlando. Yep. Rapid uh, Denver and Denver to Orlando. Now, what what drones do people <laughs> plan on bringing with them? I'm gonna bring one drone. I only have my Mavic 2 Pro, but I have one, two, 
three other cameras I'm bringing. Three? Yeah. I'll be bringing three other cameras well, with me. I'm bringing my uh, Mavic Air 2. Oh, good, good choice. Several GoPro heroes with me. So I can capture... Yep. I'm going to have my Mavic Air 2 there also. And, uh, you know, I made 35 phone calls on, on the location change yesterday, but one of the gentlemen I spoke to was Doc Murdoch, and he's coming all the way from, he's driving actually, all the way from New Mexico. Holy and he's cow. bringing 10 drones. 10 wow. drones. Cool. And, and, our, our and he may be buying on the car. Uh, Art, Art, Art and I and Marcus had the pleasure of meeting um, Doc Murdoch at Spin Up 2019, and uh, he, he's quite a wealth of knowledge on the FPV drones. That you know, the, the man's a very impressive person to have a conversation with. Mm. Yep. Yeah, he, he was very nice to me on the phone. First time I really ever spoke to him at length, and uh, he knows his stuff. That's for sure. Yes, he does. But I'm looking forward to meeting everybody. That's one of the big things about this. And, you know, flying together is nice, too. But, you know, you see people in the chat, you talk to them in the chat, and finally getting to meet them is, is going to be a lot of fun, I think. And what I like, it sounds like between, you know, Art and Ron, they both, you know, are going to make kind of a, a thing out of this. And not just coming from the drone um, meetup. They had made other plans, too, which I think is smart. I'm doing the same thing. I'm coming down for, like, at least a week or maybe better, you know, making a real trip out of it rather than just a, a quick in and out of it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I see we have yeah, – um, Go, go ahead, Ray. Go ahead. Uh, when you come down to Jupiter, you know, that's my backyard, more or less. And, um, you know, I'm going to show you some spots if you want me to. Oh, There's definitely. some great spots to fly right in Jupiter. We're going to have some adventures, that's for sure. I'm bringing another attendee of the event here all the way uh, from uh, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, uh, Michael Ray. Glad to be here. Hey, Michael. Mark, uh, hey, Mark, so hey, wish Michael. Mike to you as well. Hello, Ray. How, how are you Mike? doing? Ron? Hey, how are you, Mike? <laughs> you doing well tonight, Mike? Yeah, run, run. <laughs> yeah, a lot of runs run, run. here. Uh, Mike, uh, we're, we'll go, we're, we've been asking everybody, what are your, what are your, you're flying in, correct? Well, I'm coming into Orlando around noon and uh, staying until Tuesday evening. You're coming in what, what day? Uh, Orlando, Friday noon. Friday noon. And you're staying at the Holiday Inn Express? Holiday Inn, Palm Bay. Okay. So, yeah, a little bit annoyed, right? When uh, you had this deal three months ago, when you had it with, uh, who here was this? Ken and Matt and Mitch. Yeah, I remember I texted to you. I said, I was in you. I said, three days later, I asked you if I could join you. And then all of a sudden, instead of five, it's 35. Hey, Mike, tell your story about your, you're, bringing, you're bringing a little arsenal of drones, too, or a little fleet of drones, aren't you? I plan on bringing four, maybe five. Just wow. going to pack them up. I found out I get four drones in one big suitcase. <laughs> Even my Phantom. I haven't taken my Phantom. I've been to Dillon. I didn't take it. I thought, no, I can't do that. But it's going to work. <laughs> so, five, five, five drones flying. This guy's my hero. Well, we'll see. I don't know if they'll all get flown or not. There's a lot of, uh, not as much flying, but more visiting than anything. A meeting is a lot of fun at these groups, too. But uh, I got the Phantom, Mavic 2, Air 2, Mini 2, or Mini. What do you want to call it? Yeah. And perfect. the FPV came in today. But I haven't opened the box yet. I'm still wavering. So, <laughs> oh, probably I'm about eighty percent, eighty five percent. Think I'm going to open it up. So. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed everybody's flying into Orlando. Orlando is so cheap to fly into, and then you just rent a car and you and it's central, so you can kind of get everywhere you need to go. Exactly. Well, the only caveat to that is just, um, and I think it'll be a while before they raise their prices back down, but. Um, we just missed Orlando or uh, Daytona Bike Week, and oh, matter right. of fact, um, I was emailing back and forth with uh, Sean Oz. I was hoping he was going to come because I wanted to pick his brain on this one camera I have. And uh, but he told me he said that the prices just shot straight up in the last month or so. 
normally he said he can get them down to Orlando, like 79 bucks out of uh, Denver. Wow. You know, I'm doing out of DFW, about 160 bucks round trip. Really? Wow. In fact, I changed my flight to uh, last week, two days later, from Sunday to Tuesday night and returning, and it dropped 65 bucks. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Right right now. Now. Southwest wow. doesn't charge. That's about what I did, too. And free luggage. So, Southwest is where to go with that from here. Yeah. I'm yeah, I like limited. Southwest. I like Southwest. Yeah. Yeah, Rapid City's a little rough, no matter what time of year you go and where you go. And, and that's kind of the same in Boise. So the advantage of living someplace like Dallas or, or Denver is, hey, you can get direct flights. So, uh, you know, if I want to go to Orlando, it's a connection through Denver. So, yeah. you know, it's okay, though. It's still, you know, fairly reasonable. Uh, yeah. I can get a, a round-trip ticket, around, which I thought was pretty good, but for like 350 bucks. Uh yeah, I thought that was pretty good. But well, a few weeks ago, they changed my flight to a a, a one stop. Had non stops. I didn't want to stop during COVID. So right. I changed, right. I changed the flight for an hour later. Kept non stop, and then I decided I'm just going to stay two more days, and uh, still got my non stop flight, but it saved sixty five bucks. So it's great. <laughs> well, and you know, Michael Blades in the chat. You know, and I give a, I got to give a special shout out to him because. He bought his wife, or I should say his wife wanted a Mini 2 so she could fly with us. And Allison is uh, coming down with Michael, and he, she's going to be joining us. That's great. That's great. Hey, hey Ron Lock, but I got a, I got a Rapid City story for you. We flew into Rapid, Rapid whatever, in South Dakota one time, and they lost our luggage there, and we never got it back for about a week. It finally called really? up. In Yellowstone Park. Oh wow! Holy cow! <laughs> That's why we, you always have to keep a change of underwear in your carry-on bag. Well, 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 luckily I packed smart. I packed enough stuff in the, my carry-on that I could get by for a while. So you know, I mean, there was stuff like I didn't have any hats in the when I had my carry-on, so I had to buy a hat. But I mostly had the essentials with me in, in my carry-on because I, I I've lost luggage in the Caribbean before, so I know. You pack enough to get you through for a couple of days in your carry-on. So, yeah, I'm a I'm a seasoned uh, a traveler in, in that regard. Um, so, um, so, listen, uh, I, I want to talk to Ray about this. I think Ray, you were suggesting that uh, at the other location at the what what now is the Shrimp and Beer Festival, you were suggesting to get there early today. The is that still your advice uh, for the new location to get there early? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to get there early, and um, I know a couple of other people are going to get there at, at sunrise. Um, I mean, we put down 7 a.m. at starts, but uh, I'll be there at 6.30, that's for sure. Waiting for the sun to rise. I'm going to get a sunrise flight in, and uh, I know now some what, other what, people. What time is sunrise in Florida now, Ray? Uh, I think it was at, at 7, 7.03 this past week. Okay, and we got yep. a time change. Yeah. We got a time change yeah. coming up this week. We have a time change next week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So spring, spring oh, forward, right? right? Thinking about it. Yep. Why, why, why can't they just forward. leave our time alone? Why can't we just have one time all year round? I don't know. Yeah. Be like Arizona. I totally yeah. agree. With Arizona and El Paso, Texas. <laughs> Oh really? Oh, really? Yeah. Just Most the Paso isn't on Texas time. Too. They're on uh, <laughs> Did Mountain you see time. What? Yeah, and Arizona time. <laughs> wow! Wow! I didn't know that. Yep. Did you see what Warren put that? Don't pick it too early. People have a tough time flying with a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Lord, this is before we go to the the, the shrimp and beer festival. I'm not going to miss that festival. <laughs> Right, you should just cap it at the Shrimp and Beer Festival. We could just kind of like, uh, you know, like a blended in with the crowd and 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 flew with the slide when they weren't looking. Yeah. Well, instead of going to Mulligans, Ray, I guess we'll go up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's the Mulligan so reservation. Hmm. Yeah. I know. I know. Matt Cundiff was uh, talking about changing the location of that uh, nighttime dinner after the. The meetup, and I think he's going to pick up by the Holiday Inn Express up in the Palm Bay area. 
he may have to due to the festival people. Right, right. The, the downtown area of Sebastian is going to be like a zoo. It, mm -hmm. it, it oh, really boy. will be. And, is, Sebastian, um, is Sebastian a pretty happening place? Right? You're going to be able to walk there if you had to. We're on you're, only, you're only a half a, not even a half a mile. You, you were going to say something, Ron? Yeah, I was uh, going to say I'm definitely bringing the the 360 camera with me. I, I definitely want to look that over. And that's I know I talk to Sean about that all the time, too, just like you. So, uh, I, you know, I'd order one now to bring down with you, but you can't even order it. So I'm back order. Like, I don't think I could order it now and have it by by that time or whatever. You can't even I, you can't even get it without a delay. Yeah, I actually put a little video together today. A little, it's like a 60, 70 second video. I was going to show you if you wanted tonight. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely uh, share the screen. Hey, before we do that, I hey, don't keep this on the down low here. But I heard from some sources that we may see an Insta three hundred and sixty go to this week. You know, the smaller one that you see. Uh, now people putting up. I mean. You know, I'm kind of under a little DNA here. Don't really, don't don't tell anybody this information. But you may see a, a go to this week, and you may not. But but back to our regular schedule programming. So you uh, you go ahead, and I'll uh, I'll share your uh, your video, Ron. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, share. How's everybody in the chat doing tonight? If you have any questions, pop them in. Hey, so is the famous DeMarco Moore going to be there? He's yeah. he the, the FSU grad. He has to be there, right? Yeah, I would think. Yeah. <laughs> he should come. Well, DeMarco, come. What, what I was trying to do, Ron, was test it at night to see how well it would do at night and also how well it would do under heavy vibration. The nighttime portion of it did okay um uh, but the the stability um but this thing have helicopters vibrate like crazy um and inside the the cockpit is extremely um you know, there's a lot of vibration in there and we're under N nvg lighting but it actually picked up pretty good but i was again i was just playing around with the software and how you can you know adjust the software and you know afterwards um but for even for as dim as the lighting was inside, it actually picked up, you know, the console really well. The instrument panels real well, yes. And yeah. look at the ambient light out outside, the blue sky and the lights. Yeah. Now here it was really vibrating right when we were taking off. You can see the... It's an amazing camera. The, the helicopter vibrating really well. But if you look out the window, it's actually not bad at all. And you saw the motion blur on the propellers there. That was cool. Yeah. That's it, amazing for you know such a small camera. Tiny little camera, yeah. Um, but overall, I said you know during the day, um, it actually the the footage during the day is really really good. I'm extremely pleased and impressed with it. Um, and there's one more one more little clip here. It's about another ten seconds long, but. And this is the, the little dolly we use to push the helicopter in and out. Oh, cool. Yeah. But, uh, That's amazing. Hey, Ron, little remote control, huh, Ron? Yeah, this is that little, you see that little remote control he has in his hand there. That's how you lift, pull that thing yeah. in and out. Ron, yeah. what kind of helicopter is that? It's called an EC-145. Uh, it's made by American Eurocopter twin engine. Um Twin engine, they're both together around 1,400 shaft horsepower. It's it's fairly powerful, powerful helicopter. Oh, yeah, sounds like it. Yeah, thank you, Ron. I uh, know. Thank you for showing it to us. And you know, back to that, I saw your previous video, or I mean, previous, I saw one of your videos where you had it mounted on your Harley. And I, oh, and, yeah. and, the, and, and the, the footage was incredibly steady, but yet I looked at your rear view mirror and it was vibrating like, yeah. like, Crazy, but yet the, the overall, you know, the, the picture mm -hmm. thing that was mounted on your handles was study. So that's amazing. Yeah. 
I'm still learning with it. You know, they said, I, uh, uh, there's, I said, I was wishing Sean was there, was going to be there. Cause I know he, he's played with it for quite a bit. So he's, he's going to make a comparison video between it and the, uh, you know, the GoPro, uh, uh max, which is a similar, uh, right. uh camera. And uh, I can tell you, I have an older Insta 360 and the, the footage you're getting on his new one. It's like night and day difference to my, my one. It's like two generations old. I mean, it looks like crap compared to what you just showed. Yeah, the daytime footage, um, we're out on a nice sunny day. It's just absolutely gorgeous. That's why I can't wait to get down there in sunny Florida and, you know, do some stuff down there. And I have the attachment for my Mavic 2 Pro that I'm going to attach it onto the Mavic 2 and do a little flying with it. Oh, wow. Wow. That, that, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, and I like the fact that this one has, um, you, you correct me if I'm saying this wrong, it has a like a action camera motor so if you don't want to do the 360 you can flip it into where it's just using one of the camera cameras and it just acts like a normal action camera is that correct yeah. yes um it has a almost like a like a 150 um or a 180 uh view where you're using a single lens the other one of the other two other big features i really liked of it um it has hdr so when you shoot in hdr um that works really well and it actually has a like some of your newer phones have today where the um, it's called a night mode. And I think it works similar to HDR where it actually takes several different pictures and then kind of averages out your light and dark and to give you one balanced image. And I tried that once in a photo and phenomenal job. I, I was pretty pleased. I'm really yeah. impressed with the photos it takes also. I've seen a couple guys post pictures and they're really good. Yeah. Still images. So. I tell you, Ron and Lamarcus, you got a lot of great people in the chat tonight. Look at them all. Yeah, we got yep. uh, folks, tons of folks. Uh, Forty. Yeah. Well, I, what I'm going to say is, uh, it's everybody seems to be pretty excited about this uh, meetup, and and I'm just so sorry that I can't go. I would I would love to have uh, come, but one of these days we'll get past this pandemic. I'll get the jab, and I'll be able to do some of that stuff. Yeah. Um, you said M Michael Blaze come. Anybody else in the chat? Uh, oh, Bob Casey. Bob Casey told me he he was in Lloyd's show tonight. Hey, Bob Casey's coming. Yep. Yep. Bob's coming all the way from Western Kentucky. I'm looking forward to meeting Bob. Adrian's coming down. Adrian's coming. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How about the uh, uh, Bill from Metro Drones? Uh, we. We got to meet him and spin up in 2019. Bill, are you are you coming? Hot, yeah, Rod hot, 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 Rod, hot Rod Daytona. Of course, he's coming. I think he in Lloyd's show. He was saying he's going to get up two hours early to get there at sunrise. Okay, I look forward to seeing him at sunrise then. Uh, you know what, Ray? I I think you need to make a T-shirt for this meetup, and I think it should be very simple. Thanks to Art, I think it's just be a simple T-shirt that just says "The Blessed Event." <laughs> the blessed yeah, event. Rename it the Blessed Event. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Laura, Laura would come, but he got got open those borders up first for for those uh, good folk up in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Marcus, I'll drive your way. Um, I'll be pulling into Meridian on July fourth. Oh really? Oh wow. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to be I'm going to be in Las Vegas on July Fourth, having a little family reunion down there. No, okay. My sister's birthday. Okay. Yeah. Bill, when Metro Jones did just say he's going to be there. He did. Yeah. Great, Bill. I can't I can't look forward to seeing you there. I love well, to meet him as well. All right. That's good, Bill. I look Bill, forward to meeting you. Bill, Bill, Bill's a great guy. You'll all love meeting hey, Bill. Bill. Bill was at Spin Up 19, wasn't he? Yes, he was. He yeah. was. And, and his wife's a lovely lady too, Art. You remember when you and I, Rodney Bell, were fooling around out back of the uh, the Boy Scout thing the other day before uh, uh, Rodney was flying his spark? And remember, uh, uh, Bill's wife was talking to us like for a long time when we were back there. Mm -hmm. Yep, I remember that. Yep. Go take an Art way back here. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> so of course, Matt Cundoff's coming. Of course. Um, I don't know what Matt's going to bring uh, as far as drone. A hot Rod, I bet you Hot Rod will be bringing, yep, he'll be bringing the big Evo 2 uh, Pro with him. We got Adrian, Adrian, is, 
No, Brad is as well. I think, I think Lon Denard is coming too. Oh, really? Lon's coming? Oh, great. And so. hey, hey, Brad, Hello, I mean, Lon's Lon. coming. Yeah, Lon's yeah. coming down from Chicago, right? Yeah. Wow, wow, that's going to be great. Oh, and Michael from Chicago, hey, right? Michael, Michael Toto, he's coming from Chicago. Great. I, and I, I asked Brad Austin to be on with this thing, but he had to work. But Brad's coming from, uh, is Brad in Virginia? West Virginia? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Up in Virginia. Yep. Virginia's. Yep. And he, he texted me just prior to the show. I just wanted everybody to know he ordered 40 more new coasters. And that he's taking engravings on them. And it's going to be like a souvenir coaster to take home. Oh, okay. Along with his lanyards. He's making lanyards. And that. I don't know how many he has, but that's going to be given out on a first come, first serve. And I want to he, thank Brad, uh, Brad for all his hard work in doing that. And so nice yeah. of him. You guys, you just, I think you hurt Lon's feelings. I really do. Uh, hold on. Boy. What happened? He's not from Chicago, he's from Michigan. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, that's probably, that's probably, yeah, that's probably really bad talk yeah, from out there. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, Lon. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah. They want no part of Chicago out there in Michigan, probably. Is Adrian coming as well? Yeah, Adrian said he's coming. Mm -hmm. hey, is Adrian a camera drone guy or an FPV guy? He's a camera guy. Camera guy. Well, that could change the next week. You never know about him. <laughs> hey, and, and Sam, Bird, Sam, Bird, Sam, Sam Bird, I did get the I did get the Pfizer, and I had both shots. I got my uh, second one on the third. Oh, and oh, I got I got breaking news here too. Guess what came in today? My Part One Hundred Seven hard copy uh, card hey, arrived today. Woohoo! Okay. They're on. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. How did you get that your hard card? Well, I mean, you know, just through the whole process when you complete it, and you know, they uh, they send you the temporary. They say, well, the hard card could take I don't know months to come. Mine only took uh, I I I got mine in the beginning of February, so mine only took about a month to come. Hmm. I still haven't gotten mine. I took the test in October. Well, they told me that. They told me something like it's going to take six months, but it, it came today. So I didn't do anything you special. Take, you take the test, and after you pass, then they send it to you? It, you after after to, you complete the test, I mean, it happened right away. I mean, within, like, I think the same day, um, I had all the, the stuff that I passed in. And I think that same day I may have got the, you know, the, yep. the temporary one that you could print out and put in your wallet. Hey, hey Art. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, Art. You know what Ron did, don't you? He the the girl at the front desk. He he slipped her a twenty underneath the table. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. At, at the testing center, there was only there, I only saw one person at the testing center. The guy that was like kind of run the thing, and uh, he was he was like like a lot of us. He was like an old guy there, or whatever. But he was a nice guy. But there was there was no pretty girls around the tip. Hey, Chris. How you doing, buddy? Hello, Chris. Chris. Hey, Chris. I'm sorry, Chris didn't come to spin up. Chris is the funnest guy there is, or whatever. He made he made 2019 spin up what it was. That's a fact. Uh, did everybody see his uh, two minutes of hope video where he's out on the uh, the walking bridge and and that's in Colorado, someplace, hey. right? Art. Yeah, that was the uh, Flaming Gorge Bridge. Man, that was that's cool. The, yep. That's the Arkansas River that runs under there. Yeah. And he said somebody bungee jumped there one time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they used to do that. And, uh, and that bridge got damaged by the uh, wildfires last summer. Uh, oh, really? Yep. Wow. That's too bad. I, I don't think I'd ever try to bungee jump. Never. Never. They couldn't pay me enough. <laughs> Not me. I was gonna say, uh, it, it, I wasn't the one to bungee jump that gorge. So, so Ray, you wouldn't bungee jump, but you're okay with base jumping. In other words, you <laughs> jump off with a parachute. Yeah, no, 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 no. They wanted to do that when I was in the army, and I didn't sign up for that either. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
Hey, yeah, there's Ethan Mike. Mitchell in the chat. Hello, Hello. Ethan. I'm sorry, Ray. I was just saying a load of Michael, a fly zone, drone quadcopters. Oh. Is Mike and his brother covered? Just Mike. Just Mike, as far as I know, yeah. And Matt Cundiff's gonna pick him up at the airport and they're gonna drive up together. Oh cool. Cool. Now what airport? Fort Lauderdale. Oh, for, oh Fort Lauderdale. I like that uh, um, Brad is making the name tags because i'll be honest with you so many people in here i've spoken to a hundred times but i've never seen their face i don't know what they look like oh, oh ron you you don't even know and and, oh, yeah. and mike and art and ron will when we were at spin up it was crazy because you know you you know people by their names and so forth but trying to remember who everybody was was just absolutely crazy so yeah, yeah spot on yeah i'm kind of like an old man if, if, if after about 12 or 13 people come up to me one after another introduce themselves and say their name after that first 12 or 13 i'm not remembering any names after that point yeah, you you know the, the, the guy with the, the guy with the funny mustache. <laughs> um, hey, I do have. I was going to get those stickers. Would you write your name on it? And then then Brad stepped up and he said he was going to make these lanyards with the names on it. And I, I mean, I was so so grateful that he did that. They really look nice. I saw them on the show the other day. I think Ron, you were on it, weren't you? Yeah, get those stickers yeah. with "Hello, my name is." <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, your, like your high school class reunion? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, for you uh, previous spin-up guys, I, I do have a question. I hope this don't sound stupid, but um, I'm kind of curious. You got, you know, we may have an excess of 30 people. And with there only being so many channels that the DJI – I mean, you figured probably 80% of the drones there are DJI. Um, was there only being, what, 15, 17 channels that the controllers operate on? <laughs> you know where I'm going with this? I mean, yeah, yeah. how did it work out for you guys? Well, there the was up, was more, go ahead. Go, oh, go ahead, Mike. Mike I was going to say the spin up was more seminars and <laughs> spin down. Baseball stayed was, the next day, right? Yeah, April, remember, there were 25 or 30 at spin down, and you may have eight or 10 drones in there at one time, if that. More, right. it's just more of a medium, even the, drone, the spin down. You're out there flying, but you're talking a lot. Not everybody's in there at the same time. Right, right, right. Uh, you really here's had no what, problem at all. Here's what I remember that next day at, at yeah. spin up, the day after spin up. I remember right. looking out over that field and just seeing a row of Mavic 2s. They just Mavic come out six months. as far right. as we can see. Really? They've been out six months or three, three months. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, Michael Blade, yes, they were on my list. I have Mark Fisher and his wife down. Yeah, I do. Oh, now, and Chris. Chris Hope, you need to highlight what Chris said there, Ron. Yeah. Rex uh, Ron? Chris, my Ron, friend. No. My name is Art. No, no, no. Uh, the next one down. Yeah. Now, Ron, we had a uh, the local group about two years ago. We had a, <laughs> a spin up, but we had 75 drones up in Grand Prairie at the same time. Tried to get their world record, but they wouldn't, they didn't have the right people out there. Uh, but we had, and the majority of them were DJI drones. Okay. And there were 75 of them at one time. Wow. Well, I, I think my strategy will be to bring one DJI drone and one non DJI drone. Now, I did attend uh, up in, uh, I'm familiar with Flight Fest. It's out of Malvern, Ohio. It's uh, no. uh, it was all fixed wing, but foam, foam, you can go to flightjust.com. It's a great website and entertainment area. And we had 1,600 pilots up there. We did set the red, we set the world record for three, for 175 planes in the air at the same time. 300 went up. And dude, their frequencies are crashing. They had to stay up for at least one minute at the same time. And 175 wow. survived. It did set the record. Wow. Uh, Pretty cool. Fixed wing. Fixed wing. Fixed wing. Wow. That's amazing. Yep. Yeah. 
Well, it should be interesting to say the least. And maybe we'll get some some drone racing going too. That's something in the back of my mind. Oh. Just short. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to race the guys that bring the DJI FPV drone with them. <laughs> I'm not racing it. Michael, did you get one? Mine arrived oh. today. Oh, got the controller. Oh, nice. And oh, it's still in the box. My other one is combo right here. Oh. What are you yet. I haven't decided to open it. For sure. I probably will this weekend. What? How do yeah. you do that? Well, I've, I've been waiting. waiting. <laughs> Sit there and stare at a box all so long. Well, I mean, it's not going to be open. It'll be up there tomorrow. I'll be charging from the end of the day tomorrow. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like the way uh, Dad Random's approached his his approach. T take it easy. He, I don't know if you've seen his last his first flight on it, but uh, he showed it flying just actually through the phone. Didn't even use the goggles his first flight, and in mm -hmm. the video through the phone, and it was a great presentation. Uh, really, what the I feel like the FPV was designed for is more of a cinema cinema. Yeah, I just watched uh, Billy Kyle's uh, video just right before the show here, where he's mm -hmm. using the uh, the joystick. Uh, wow, it, it actually looked pretty cool, and it looked pretty intuitive, and uh, yeah, it, it looked like kind of a kind of a neat idea. I think it'll be interesting to see uh, if DJI refines that product over time. Uh, you know, they might be onto something. Yeah, I'm thinking it may be maybe they'll make compatible with the Mavic Three. You don't know. Yeah. You know, boxing three. Yep. I, I, speaking of uh, Billy Kyle, uh, uh, Billy's coming to the event, and I think he's going to bring his uh, FPV drone with him. So uh, yeah. that'll be nice to see him whip that thing around in, in in person. Oh, real quick, Mike Kinney's in the chat here. Mike's from North Carolina. He's coming down to the uh, to the event. How you doing, Mike? Good to see you, Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Mike. Well, I tell you, everybody's going to have a good time. I'm just hoping and praying nobody ends up in <laughs> being close to waterway. Oh, yeah. We don't want any drones in the water. Ray, now why would you even say something like that? Because as soon as you say it, you, you, you don't. Me. <laughs> no, you just don't even say things like that. Come on, my friend. <laughs> I'm going to have to swim. I don't have to swim out all day and retrieve uh, drones. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm going to get those uh, things that are on on the bottom of the landing uh, things that make the drone float, just in case. Oh, floaters! <laughs> <laughs> There's some really good jokes there, but I'm going to leave it alone. Yeah. Uh, that, that, you know, I I'll, I'll be in, in all seriousness, Ray. I've never understood. You know, like the that uh, the that egg drone. What was the name of it? The the power egg, power egg, um, yeah, waterproof drone. Yeah, and remember, you could buy it with uh, pontoons, essentially. Yeah, and I, I, I'd be honest with you, I never understood what. It, why would you want to land on the water to begin with? What is what is the point of that? I don't, I, I don't get yeah. it. Especially there, it was it the oh or something like that 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 would actually look under the water. It would land on the water, and the camera would look. Oh, no, that's a little different, maybe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I forget who that was that had one of those little power boats and a big gator come up and grab it. And then oh, he spit it out. Oh, yeah. yeah it was, uh, oh, I think it was Dan. Uh, Dan, yeah. He has video of that. He was running this little power boat, all of a sudden, gulped, he grabbed it, and about 15 seconds later, spit it out, and he kept kept going. <laughs> John, all of a sudden, some drones out of the water. Yeah, the spree. Yeah, that's yeah. the name of that under. I don't know. Anybody's drone, drone goes in the water, I, I'm not going in for it. Yeah. <laughs> bring, now, your mag, bring your magnet. When I was there, when I was there on Saturday, there was a, a a dolphin, a flipper type dolphin out there swimming about 50 feet from the shoreline. Hmm. Cool. Hey, so I see uh, Ethan Mitchell is talking in the chat about flying. I believe he's talking about the uh, the FPV drone. So, uh, Ethan, I, it sounds to me like you uh, you were impressed with it. 
Sure does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing, Ethan? He's one of those guys. He's a big camera drone guy. About a year ago, he got an FPV drones big time. Yeah, he's uh, he is a uh, good good with FPV for sure, and uh, he's uh, he's good with that three uh, D printer too. I know he's I know he prints some things up for Ken Dono, etc. So camera mounts and so forth. I mean, it, it's it's really is fascinating to me how these guys are figuring out how to decase those GoPros and stuff, and then. Yeah. Put the mounts on. It's uh, it's 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 quite a quite a uh, an industry. Hey Art, did you see Mike Kinney sit about? Yes, I did. Get some bait. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have a cast net though. Oh well, no. Nope. Maybe we can get one. Hey, Mark has brought that about the you know using the hero eight. I was I, I got to post this on Drone Nation, but I was watching you know the the what's his name, the drone film guy from over there in Scotland. And he, he did it. And he's like a video professional. He makes wedding videos and things like that for a living. And he was comparing the camera quality out of the FPV, the, you know, the, the uh, DJI FPV drone, the Mavic Air 2, and the GoPro 8. In almost every situation, the GoPro, GoPro 8 was a spear camera, even in low light. So those guys that are that are building their own FP drones and putting the Hero 8 on are probably getting better video. Well, that's kind of what everybody is saying. So one of the bigger complaints that I've heard about the DJI FPV drone is that they, they people are complaining that the camera isn't quite up to what they had hoped. And they say, they've all said exactly what you're saying, Ron, is that they can mount a GoPro on mm-hmm. an FPV drone and get better video. Now, the only quibble I would have with that is, and I mean, I'm not, not, not that I'm an expert, so don't, but, but uh, I do know that with the DJI FPV drone, you can adjust that camera, which you wouldn't be able to do just solidly mounting a, a GoPro on an FPV drone. So you can, you could probably frame it uh, a little bit better, but the, the thing that is a little weird to me is that you would think that DJI would have built that thing with with those front arms out a little bit further so that you never got props in the shot. But uh, yeah, it's one of those mysteries. And, and sometimes some so I saw some of the shots. Sometimes the props are actually just the proper reflections, which maybe I'll be fixed by an ND filter. Prop shadows, yeah, could possible, yeah. But but many times you'd see the orange tips of those of those props. But but you know. I, I, and I think you could change the what the uh, the field of view from 150 down to like 142, which may mm-hmm. help a little bit. You probably could, yeah, yeah. But the, but uh, Drew and Film guys making the point that if you had the GoPro, you could take it down to the what do they call their narrow field of view? Uh, linear. Yeah, linear. You linear. linear, and that would of course eliminate any props. It it it, it for sure would, yeah, yeah. I tell you, Stevie, Stevie, Capture Life Connection just just came in the chat, but he was chatting with me on Facebook Messenger. He's coming to the drone meetup all the way from the Bronx, the Bronx, New York. Really? <laughs> oh wow! To meeting Stevie. Uh, uh, flying or driving? He's. I guess he's flying. I don't know. He didn't tell me if he's flying or driving. He's staying in Orlando and he's going to drive over that morning. So. Right. Right. Well, sounds like we have a lot of people staying in Orlando and at that Holiday Inn. Some people rented cars. I guess if anybody's listed, they need they don't have they couldn't get a car rental. Maybe they could hook up to somebody that that has rented a car or whatever. So maybe could even do a little carpooling if necessary. Um, you know, just uh, uh, join the group. What's the name of the group, uh, Ray, on Facebook? It's, it's the the Sebastian uh, meetup, the South Florida drone meetup in Sebastian, okay. Florida. So if you're if you intend on going, go over to and if you're on Facebook, go over and join that group. You'll see a lot of information. You'll see the change the map here on the new location. <clears throat> go on where we're staying. That if you need a hotel suggestion, maybe a car rental suggestion or a motorcycle rental suggestion, you know, uh, uh, just get on there and 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 ask a question. And I'm sure somebody will know to help you out in the community. Brad also made up a uh, travel event page for it. Oh. And uh, you you can get some information on his page called Flor- uh, Florida or Bust. 
Florida, I like that. Florida bust. Hey, Ron Brown, I got a question for you. Uh, yeah. Is anybody bringing the Skydio 2 to this? Well, I said I think I'll bring one DJI drone and one non-DJI drone. So the, the Skydio is a contender to be that non-DJI drone. I'd like to, that's what I'm looking forward to, Ron, is just seeing some stuff yep. that I haven't seen before. You know, I've never been around anybody with that PB. Never okay. seen it. I have a suggestion right now. It just occurred to me, you know, so so Ron is going to be on that victory motorcycle. Uh, and Ron, if you bring the uh, Skydio 2, you can track Ron on the bike. There you go. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Not good. I could. I mean, I, I if, when I used to live in Runnymede, New Jersey, to, I don't have people know Tommy Polo. I, you know, I don't know if he does a lot on YouTube, but he, he I met him. He was he's a hardcore FPV guy, and I used to go to the field. I had my camera drones, and he'd always look at him and say, "Hey, how's that Mavic?" and so on. But, but he was an incredible flyer. He had three inch and five inch builds and so on. And then he, then mm -hmm. I think he he then he turned to the camera drone guy. He got a at the Phantom. Phantom 4 Pro V2 first, and now he has the Evo 2 Pro. So I, I think he still does FPV, but I got to see FPV up, you know, close to personal, seeing all of Tommy's builds or whatever over at the oh, – we used to hang out at the sports field at the high school together and do our flying. Yeah. Well, I just want to let everybody know the T-shirts are in. The embroidery oh, kit is great, and whoever ordered one is going to get one. And I only have a few extra, um, but uh, there may be some more. You never know. You just never know. So you might be able to buy some when you get there. Mm -hmm. I, I think Art. I think you should sell them as merchandise on your on your channel. You, the the blessed event. I love that. I think that's uh -huh. yeah, we need a new T shirt now. Yeah. The blessed event, yeah. uh, uh, Sebastian, Florida, 2021. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, Ray, depending on how things go, I, it's just a thought for now, but I'm thinking maybe South Dakota next year, see if anybody would have an interest to come up and fly in the mountains. Oh, man. I'm interested. Mm -hmm. my, my wife would definitely uh, be in for that. That's close yep. enough to me. Um, I have a couple places that – up in the Bighorn Mountains in central Wyoming. It's about, it'd be about a two and a half hour drive for us from Rapid City, but trust me, it'll be worth it. <laughs> cool. Hmm. In the and, summertime, of course, right? In the summer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Ron, Ron, I can bring the vet on, Ron, or should I bring the Tahoe? Uh, yeah. It, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like I okay. said, it's, it's, uh, um, it's really neat where I, I, I would suggest that we would do like for at least one, one day is go into Buffalo, um, stay overnight. And then in the morning, when you, if you get up early in the morning and start up at sun sunrise, that's when you see all the, everything from moose, bear, elk, deer, wolves, you name it. And it's about, you go from about 4,500 up to. I think just like a hundred foot below ten thousand wow. feet elevation, and it's it's gorgeous up there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Bring all my camera gear. Hey, uh, oh, yeah. uh, Ray Kelly, Bob Bob Casey has a question in the chat for you. He oh, says, "What it, color I are they?" I think he's referring to the color of the t-shirts is going to be a surprise. You'll find out when you get there. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, no, no, no cheating, Bob. No cheating. <laughs> But uh, uh, Ron, on that on that note, I was I was I was talking to our friend Andrew on her birthday a week or oh. so ago, and I was telling her about this the drove meet up, and you're going to be there. We're going to get the meet, and, yeah. and you know, she was excited. And I said, maybe I'll I'll twist your arm, uh, maybe uh, you know her and her boyfriend and Susan I could come out, you know, and 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 you can give us a tour around South Dakota. And yeah. COVID's all over. Yeah, I miss that gal. Well, maybe we'll be in South Dakota soon. One never knows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, she, was up for it. she was up for it. I said, man, we could, we, I could get Ron to, you know, you know, could take, you know, show us around, come out there for a trip. Oh, guaranteed. Yeah. I've actually had a few, few guests from back in Pennsylvania come out and my last set of guests <clears throat> came out and stayed with me and 
you know, it was on my, my eight days off from work. Cause I worked five, um, or I'm sorry, work, work five off nine, but, um, I spent all nine days with them and I wore them out. <laughs> they were worn out. Huh. They went home, but they had a lot of fun, you know? Oh, uh, I got good news. Andrew just retired. So she just, really? just retired. Okay. Yep. She yeah. stayed long enough to get her COVID shots. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we used to work at Jennersville together. Yep. Yeah, Jennersville, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Now you're down what Margate now, Ron? I, I'm I'm down at the uh, Margate, New Jersey, down here at the shore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I haven't lived in PA since eh, you know like uh, 1999 or something like two, somewhere yeah. near, like around 2000. I moved to New Jersey. Oh, I thought it was just a couple of years ago. Well, I mean, I, I've only been well. I moved to New Jersey, but I lived on you know like on the eastern side of New Jersey, near Philadelphia. But we've had this sure home here for about 10 years, and now, you know, this is the only home now. Okay. Downsizing yeah. our life. One one house is better than two. Mm -hmm. You know, Ron, I, I had said last summer I was going to get down to the Jersey Shore and visit you and hopefully fly with you. I didn't make it. COVID messed that all up. Yeah. But this summer, I plan on getting down there. You, you come on down. Maybe I'll get some of the guys to, to come down when you're down or whatever. Get old Philly drone uh, uh, down here at the beach. Uh, oh, Mike's a great guy, but he, you know he's the opposite of most people. You know, a lot of people don't like to drive in the city because of all the traffic. Well, Mike doesn't like to drive any place but the city. He won't leave the city. I know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How, you know he does You know somehow he can he can cope with driving around in the big city, but he doesn't want to drive in the suburbs. <laughs> You know, it's funny, Ron, when I was there last February, you know, we were all, me and Rodney Bell, Dennis, Paul, Drumbum, we all met up with them on Sunday morning. Yeah. And then I was, I was kind of kidding around, then I wasn't. I said, I'm coming back down on, I think it was like Tuesday. I said, I'm coming down at like three in the morning. I want to do some night photography in the city. He goes, stop at the house. I'm like, it's three in the morning. He goes, I'll be up. He'll be up. Sure up. I stopped in. He was up, had coffee on. We went out, did photography, at three, three o'clock yeah. in the morning on the city. That's cool. That's cool. Hey Ron, I gotta take off. I, gotta or, or, I, I want to thank you so much for joining thanks us. I think you gotta get up for work tomorrow. I didn't. I, you didn't have to stay the whole time, but but thanks for hanging in there with us. I really look forward to seeing you in a little over a week here in, in, in Florida. Catch up again. You and I and Rodney had such a good time at Spin Up. A couple of years ago, and and I asked Rodney to come on, but you know Rodney doesn't do nighttime shows. But uh, you know he, um, you know, I had a good chat with him today too. All right, good. I'll good. see you in a bit, uh, Ray. Good to see you. And good night, good night, you know, Art. Take care. I'll see good night, you. Art. And, good and Michael, good to good see art. you. And, and uh, Marcus. And uh, <laughs> it's like Hollywood Squares here or something. Yeah, Ooh. there we go. All right, take care, everybody. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, Ron, did Ron, you see the mark that I mentioned from uh, Lauren that there's a DJI FCC filing being announced tomorrow? No. Oh, boy. Lauren's got that. breaking news for us. I think it's what he kind of hinted two weeks ago on the show. Uh, and Hot Rod saying, can somebody post the Facebook link for the yeah. meetup? Um, Ray, Ray, do you have that handy? or? Oh, oh post links I, I really don't I, i'm pretty uh, uh, computer illiterate I, i'll i'll take care of it. you guys talk about uh, uh laura's little tidbit there Thank and you. i'll look for the link can, ron can i get a little contest going to you who can guess the color of the t-shirts we'll see if somebody gets the right answer but i'm not going to say it now but okay <laughs> okay so so you mean put your put your color in here put well, it in I think they are <laughs> Let me go get a link to this uh, meetup thing here. Let's say gray. Matt just said it's a private link on the Facebook. Oh, yeah. I'm going to drop the link here, but it, it is like a private link, whatever that really means. Here's a link, but of course you have to be on Facebook. And and do you have to be sent the link, Ray? Does somebody have to send it to you? Hot, hot Rod, are you? Are, do, am I friends with you on on Facebook, Hot Rod? If if I am, I'll just. I'll just invite you to the group. Does that make sense? Well, I don't know exactly if you can invite people. I, I tried to 
open it to the public, and I I couldn't figure out how to yeah. do it. So. I, 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 I'll invite yeah. Hot Rod. I just have to. I just have to find it. Well, I'll just I'll just hit the link on my iPad, and it came up fine. The link you posted. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and like if I, if yeah, I, I would send him directly to Facebook. But like if 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 he's not Hot Rod and Toad on Facebook, I'll never find him because I don't know him by any other name. Yeah. Oh, oh Hot Rod's gonna ping me an email. Okay, no problem, Hot Rod. I'll, I'll look for your 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 email. Stevie, just to let you know, I was at a Mets game this week. They were playing the Cardinals. They got beat. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Sam but Burns this, also posted the link, folks. So, uh, if you oh, thanks, Ken. Them. I mean, I mean, yeah. Uh, 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 thanks, Sam. Ron, I better skadoodle myself. I All right, Ron, thanks. I know you got to go. Thanks for stopping in and joining us tonight. I really look forward to seeing you in Florida. I, I, you know, I, I wanted you in here because that whole thing about you riding a motorcycle, you had like the best story of anybody so far, you know. Um, oh, I can't wait. It's good. And, I'm, and I'm even bringing, I've even bought um, extra mounts um, for the bike. I have three different mounts. I'm actually taking one off my bike and putting on two others that I bought in the last two weeks so I can get different views because I'm going to hook two different cameras up at least on the bike. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I'm this vacation couldn't come at a better time. <laughs> so. Right. It's the same thing for me. It's been, you know, the frozen well, COVID winter. I, I can't wait to get a little sunshine and fresh air. Like well, well, We're going to go to the space center. You know, I don't know, Ray. I'm, I'm still tossing that one up in the air. Um, I, uh, I I want to talk to you about that when I get down there, though. Um, mm -hmm. But still plan on Tuesday being with you. Yep. Sunday, Monday at the minimum on the bike. Saturday with everybody. Yeah. Well, maybe, I'll hook, maybe I'll hook up with you guys on Tuesday. Yeah. That's fine, Ron. Yep. Yeah, Ron, I'll talk to you. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll, talk, we'll talk Saturday at the meetup. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, everybody wear your name tag so I know who you. Are. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, or I'll be fumbled around. Oh, okay. Uh, nice seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, what's your name again? <laughs> yeah. All right, Ron. Get hey, Ron. Thanks a lot um, for joining us and, and have a good hey, evening. Ron. Thank you. And uh, good night, Ron. to meet you. That's great, great. Kelly. See you and uh, Marcus. Yeah, uh, Ron. Thank you for having me. You're you guys welcome. all have a nice night. Good night. Good night now. Good night. Good night. Oh, Mikey, Blaine's got some information uh, about the the FFC filings for the new Mavic Three. Oh, or he's answering the question. Sorry. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes, I hope I hope to get that drone. I hope Santa brings it to me. Actually. I don't think yeah, that's what we're talking about. No, no, no. The Mavic 3. Mavic 3. Hopefully it's out and it's on my Christmas list. Lauren kind of mentioned it a couple weeks ago, but it might be. I know. I don't know if I thought that or not. Hey, Lauren's guessing pink for the T-shirts. I saw I saw his. Yeah, he thinks they're pink. <laughs> so, so Mike, I, I can't remember what he said. I remember hearing about it, and I've, I've already forgotten what uh, – what well, he really didn't say, but we were talking about a fixed wing. Oh, that's right. Fixed wing. Remember that? Right. And he said, uh-oh. Right. We talked about the, the – my son-in-law was on the show at the time. We were talking about how fast, how much you could cover in a day. For example, yeah. he sells – Michael sells the Agris, and it will cover 80 acres. I think this one covered, covered maybe 500 acres in a day or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that's what he was talking about for sure, but kind of – we're talking about – Yeah, no, he alluded to that. You're wing. right. Yeah, you're right. And he's you're not right. commenting right now. So yeah. Well, now he's saying the FCC filing was for uh, an M300 accessory. So oh, okay. okay. You know, Lauren, you do that you never know. every time. <laughs> uh, hey, I touched on this story story earlier. I'll just touch on it again. Uh, the the map, the little mini two got a um, a firmware update last week. It was. Um, uh, 01.02.0300. And the big thing it brought to the table was when you're in return to home mode now and it's coming back to you, you can like, you know, 
you can turn the drone around like to face any direction you want. It doesn't have to face you coming back now. Like I, and I, I already did a test fly and I'll have a video of Suna where I did a return to home at sunset and I could turn the drone back towards the sunset and not have it face me on the way back. So it's not a big feature, but it's a nice feature. And you know, Marcus and I were talking about this. Some drones let you turn on return home and some don't. And I never remember which drones do and which drones don't don't until I'm actually like trying it in the air. And, and that's within the right. DJI universe, right? Because some of the DJI drones you can, others you can't, and there's no mm -hmm. rhyme or reason to it. And and I'm sure, Michael, you face the same thing. I always forget which is I which. I can't remember which is which. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can't remember and, how to, I don't can't remember how to go to sport mode on the smart controller. <laughs> I was out the other day. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'm gonna figure that out again. <laughs> yeah. I was telling Marcus I I flew the Scuddy the other day because it is new uh, firmware too. And and whenever I'm doing my my uh, uh, videos on it, I never get the beacon out. People say, "Oh, why she's a beacon?" I and I hate to admit I don't fly the Scuddy enough that every time like it's so long between flights that I forget how to use the beacon. So I never usually have it in the videos because mm -hmm. it takes me a whole flight just to relearn how to use the beacon again. Yep. So. But but uh, and then I got a report from Willie Ford out of Ireland. He said that there was another phone update for Android, like right after this update. So I, I don't have any information beyond that. He saw a, a, an Android update pop up on his phone because the Mini Two and Air Two both went through a period in the, like in the month of February where they were getting a bunch of phone update, app updates, and firmware. Right dates and people were saying they caused problems but um i didn't see any problems at all in that main two flight uh i think it was just yesterday it flew it flew beautifully was that an ios update yes yeah well, i saw yeah. on joining on today he was saying that android update isn't out and there's some people how to get it to go to the dji site to get it not from the app store well the way i i don't know anything i don't have one android device anymore you said I don't either. App, but, but, yeah. the way i understand is it, through some, uh, uh, I don't know what you would call it, that they said DJI wasn't even putting the the their uh, update app in the up Play Store. In the Play Store anymore. That you, if you were on Android, you had to go directly to DJI okay. and download the Android updates, which I had to do for the smart controller. That's what he was telling people to do: go to the DJI yeah. store to download it. I think that's maybe your only option. And I wonder if there if it was uh, recommended for the smart controller for the same fly. It's a fly the flywheel update. For the fly update. So, so I just checked uh, the uh, just while we were talking right. here. I just checked for the fly app on iOS, and it's still one point three point zero, and it's not asking for an update. So, okay. Hey, Sean Ars, how you doing, buddy? Oh, so hey, Sean, we were just Sean. We were talking about you earlier. Ron, Ron, Ron Lockwood was was disappointed. We weren't coming to 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 um, the drone meetup in Florida because. He wanted uh, you to uh, train us on how to use the Insta 360 One X2 properly. That but is we, a, that is such a cool camera. It really is. Yeah, I, I, I definitely want to get it. Um, to, but it's back order. Like I like I say, I wanted to bring the spin up. I, I I couldn't. It's like back ordered. I wouldn't have it in time. Ron, did, you got you got the GoPro Nine, didn't you? I have the Hero 9, yes. I'll be bringing it along on the trip. Okay, good. I look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you. It's a good little camera. I mean, it's got its faults. The touchscreen on the back is real kind of like it's real slow or whatever. But outside of that, the you know, it, it takes good video, and it can stay about anything. You can walk along, bounce around, and your video looks stable. It's really amazing. In that respect, you know what I'm going to try to do right at the meetup? I'm going to try maybe to go around with the GoPro or something and, like, you know, kind of like talk to everybody and just have everybody say, like, hi, I'm Michael Wright and my channel's this or, you know, something like that. Just real quick information and then kind of put that video, maybe cut it all together where I have everybody intended and they say, like, their name or their channel name or, you know, uh, where they're from. You know, that would be, that'd be a cool, cool little video. Yeah, that would yeah, be good. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, Ron, I uh, and I've been on YouTube for several years, following you all and all. I finally put up a video yesterday, day before yesterday. Two, two, oh, right? Two. You got two. Yeah. Uh, well, two. I'm gonna have to go sub you up then. Just uh, grab out there. Nine, eight, nine subscribers right now. I, I watched oh, them both. I gave them both a thumbs okay. up. I got okay. yours, Marcus. Yeah. <laughs>
Uh-huh. Yeah, Walt Disney 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 before the show started. Yeah. You won the, your adventures out at uh, the beach, Jensen Beach. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good. 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 Again. <laughs> hey, Ron, I got a question for you with regard to the Hero 9. Uh, when you shoot, uh, what mode do you typically shoot in? Uh, wide, super wide, or linear? Well, um, you know, uh, I'm going to say I hardly ever use super wide. It would be a special case to use super wide. I usually use wide because stabilization is better in a wide. But, so that's, I, but if, right. I, if I mount to a tripod, then I'll put it on. Maybe I'll put it on linear because at that point I'm not worried about stabilization. So, so that's just what I was going to say, Ron. The other day when I was at the Corvette uh, cruise, I had mine set on linear, and I was a little disappointed in the when I was walking that you'd get just some of that movement that I I think oh. if I'd have had it in wide I, I wouldn't have got well you know now now in your case I say I don't really use super view because it's just so wide but if you're actually walking on like for showing Oz what I have up here when showing Oz is like doing his like snowboarding down the mountains videos that super view is good for somebody like him because I mean he's right on top of the camera so he right. doesn't look like he's a million miles away but he can see all the background. So that's the use of super view. When you're really, when you're right in front of the camera, super view is good and you want to show the background. But if you're facing the camera away from you, super view, like nobody can see, everything looks like it's a million miles away. Right, right, yeah. Yep. Well, I love the, the GoPro. That's, that's one of my favorites, I really do. I still have the eight. I know I said I was gonna upgrade to the nine, but I haven't, one for it just yet, but I plan on it, and now I'll get to see yours, Ron, so that will be great. I mean, Marcus, I can tell you the truth. I mean, if you have the eight, I mean, yeah, you always want the latest and greatest if you're a gadget guy, but if the, if the eight's a great camera, too. I mean, the, if you, the nine, what the, the nine is, we get that front screen, right, Marcus? Hey, hey, hey Ray, don't, don't tell Ron, but what I do is I, I just upgrade every year, you know. Uh, yeah, but Mar but Marcus is telling you, Fib, uh, wh where's your where's your iPhone 12? Oh, that's true. No, I kept the 11. Yeah, yeah. Where, where's, your, where's your 12? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Saying, I, Marcus, I got a 12 for my wife, right? I got her the new. Okay, 12. well that counts as something. Okay, yeah, Ray's got the 12. There. Okay. <laughs> my wife wouldn't let me get the pro though. <laughs> oh, okay. You know the pro? No. She says you don't need that. <laughs> hey, get, getting off the subject a little bit here. Um, I've been testing the five. I'm on T-Mobile. I've been testing the five G on the phone recently. I've been some place of the day right around down here. Man, I had over like three hundred, like like uh, uh, down and like you know like eighty some up or whatever. I saw incredible speeds on that uh, that 5G T-Mobile. Uh, Mike, what service are you with? I'm on uh, T-Mobile now with Sprint. Bought out T-Mobile now. Cool. Yeah, so do you see, have you seen some really good speeds? I haven't tested it yet, so I really don't know. I, mean, I haven't noticed it around here. I'm a big fan of T-Mobile. Yeah, really? they, they have really upgraded their service. I remember when T-Mobile used to be just a kind of a secondary also ran, but I, I can just tell you around here, Everybody, Verizon was the deal, but now T-Mobile has uh, exceeded them. I used to use a uh, AT and T cell cell service way back in the day, and and I was doing a show way up in northern Saskatchewan, Canada, and oh, wow. we were going on the Pan Am Highway, and my AT and T service stunk. I couldn't get through. My friend who had a Verizon could make phone calls to his wife and, you know, hey, Ray, you want to use my phone? <laughs> and and as soon as I got back from that trip, I switched to Verizon, and I've been with Verizon ever since. Since. Yeah, I came from AT&T. I was with them before uh, T-Mobile. You see what Sean I says? He says, Super View Widest is great and linear. He says, turn on linear with Horizon Lock. And, which and what, I do. And, and what he's talking about there, Ray, is when you put the horizon lock going, even if you turn your GoPro sideways or whatever, it's still staying level. You mean oh, really? you, you, you could be on your boat, Ray, like, Ray, you could be in your boat and the boat could turn could turn to the left or whatever, but the thing would still stay level. Oh, really? I didn't you, realize that. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Well, I know I, it's a, it's 
It's amazing how steady the GoPros are, though. The eight, anyway. The eight is amazing. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. Oh, uh, Matt saying if you can't find uh, uh, Mike, Mike, the right look up uh, the TXR drone guy. I'll try to send him a link after the show. So, so this Mark is the Bell. latest uh, latest GoPro. Uh, that looks a lot. They must have copied the Osmo. Osmo, Osmo, isn't it? Yeah, Os, Osmo action. Yeah, yeah. Oh, action. Uh, that's a pretty good one too. Somebody was in here oh. earlier saying this good. The action two will be out soon. Which, if you know DJI, it's going to be good, right? I mean, the, the, I'm just wondering. What what is DJI going to put in their in their next Osmo action? Plus, the other thing I was thinking about is, you know, this with all this trend towards the 360 cameras, you know, DJI's surely have something in the works mm -hmm. with that too. Yeah, well, I tell you, go go ahead, Ray. No, no, no. I'm just excited. I hate to say it. I'm you know, I don't realize. I mean, we planned this three, four months ago now. That's when the planning started for this, and it's almost here. You know, and uh, it's going to be amazing. I really feel it's going to be amazing. You see, so really Oz, it. You see Sean Oz's comment here. He says, "Someone decided to hold a rate in the middle of spring break. Some prices are crazy for hotels and flights." <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sean. Mark, you have something you want to show us? No, I was just goofing off. Well, guys, we've gone uh, almost an hour and a half here, so I'm keeping uh, <coughs> I'm keeping everybody up here. Well, it's still early for Marcus and Mike. They're out there in a better time zone than, yeah. than Ray and I are, but uh, we're getting almost uh, uh, to the 10.30 mark here. So I, I really want to thank Ray for coming on and being our special guest today and updating everybody on that location. I hope. If people didn't know about the location change, I hope this show helped them uh, find out. If you have any more questions about this location change or whatever, just go over to the, the Facebook uh, link that I put in the chat or whatever, and it's maps and everything in there. And um, right in the, on, the, on the Drone Nation Facebook group, maybe you could, if you have any more maps or anything like that, maybe you could post them in there for people to okay. – uh, to find them. And what I'll do is if I see them, I'll, I'll, I don't know what the button is, but I'll put the button to make sure it stays at the top of the, of the feed. So it doesn't get lost at the bottom. Cause we don't okay, want thank we you. Don't want anybody, we don't want anybody winding up at the shrimp and beer festival and not at our meetup. Right, Ray. <laughs> no, I got to check that out. No. Along with the fisherman museum. I need to go there. <laughs> that That's good. That's a nice little uh, museum. It is. It's small, but it's nice. Sure. Is that in Sebastian? Yeah, the right at right at at the end of the um, the island, right at the inlet. That's where the museum is inside the state park. But if you oh. say you're going to the museum, you don't have to pay the eight dollar entry fee. Got it. Ooh, that's a nice hack. Good. Yeah. Good. So again, all right. Uh, well, Rob, yeah, everybody thank you for inviting. The chat here tonight. We had a good group in here. I mean, I was glad to see everybody in, you know, and, and to everybody is, that was in the chat that's going to going to the event. You know, I'm 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 glad for your input. And I'm, I'm you know, I want again, I want to thank Kathy Ray for coming on and 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 you know, guest hosted with us and getting all this information out there. And, and to Mike for you know, one of the attendees for joining us, and then Ron and Art uh, who were in here earlier. You know, they're they're planning on coming down. So um, yeah, yeah, you know. I think it's going to be a great time. Look forward to meeting everybody there. Um, uh, any final thoughts uh, from anybody else on the panel here? I appreciate you having on and really enjoyed the show tonight. And, uh, looking glad forward to everybody and I'll see what you can make, Marcus. I'm nothing but I know. Judging, I, I, I know. I, Spin up. I just want to say thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Mike, for coming. Ron, thanks for coming. Marcus, we wish you could be there. And I want to say thank you to everybody that is coming. I look forward to meeting you all. Sounds good, Ray. Thank you, Ray. Good night, everybody. Be safe. Good night. Good night.